Um, hello. Today I thought I would do something that I find pretty fun, and I wanted to rank. Rank all of the racetracks in Mario Kart Wii. Um, one of my favorite games, um, ever since I was little, honestly. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so, let's... Obviously, we have a, my simple tier list here. S, A, B, C, and no thanks. Uh, first, we'll start with Luigi Circuit, first track in the game. Um, It's a great introduction track. Music is great. But, obviously, since it's, since it's the first track in the game, it's not too interesting. Uh, I'll probably say... I'll say C. Like, I probably won't actively be picking to play this one. But in its in online play, it's basically um, luck based on which items you get since there's so little ramps and shortcuts. There is a shortcut near the end, uh, off road shortcut, but that's about it. Um, what's next? I forget the order of them, but we'll go with Yoshi Falls. Yoshi Falls wasn't great on the DS and wasn't great in Wii. Sure, it's a cool concept, but the track is so simple and there's no ramps or any shortcuts at all. I do enjoy the music and the waterfall gimmick, but you're just staying it. I wouldn't actively pick this track. Like, and if it, if it were to get picked online, uh, I probably wouldn't have fun. Yes, you still can play Mario Kart Wii online in 2022 with, uh, with fan servers. And I, and now we're just skipping right into the Flower Cup. These aren't in order. We're skipping right to the Flower Cup. Mario Circuit. Basically Luigi Circuit, but a little more interesting. They've got the Chain Chomp. Uh, they, get the, they got Off-Road Shortcut. I say it's better than Luigi Circuit, but not too much. And oh my gosh, there are a lot of circuit tracks in this game. Mm, I'll say C. It's higher than, it's higher than Luigi Circuit, though. For sure. Mm, what else we got? Delfino Plaza. Where's a Delfino Square? It's Delfino Square. Either I forget the name. Even though this is this is a fan favorite track, there aren't too many. Oh, there actually there's a there's a few interesting shortcuts in this track, and it's another fan favorite, especially since it's based off of Super Mario Sunshine, very popular Mario game. The drawbridge at the end is super cool, and this is a great time online or with your friends. I would say, say definitely an A track. It's super fun. Music's great. Mm. Uh, Mario Circuit SNES. To be fair, it's an SNES track, so eh. I mean, it's fun, but it's just so boring since it's based off an SE. It's it's a remake of an SNES track. I'll say, I'll put it C because it's still more fun than. Yoshi Falls do the, all the the shortcuts you can do in the in the in the off road, all the mushroom shortcuts you can do, and then the one through the wall. But that's about it. It's Chaos Online too. It's fine. And then, ooh, Mushroom Gorge, really good for Mushroom Cup. But this is another fan favorite. Absolutely, cr this is a probably one of the this is definitely one of the most popular tracks in the entire series it was a few months ago it was added to the mario kart 8 as dlc have i have not reviewed wave 2 of the dlc yet but i have done three which is coming out in a week super excited um it's super fun the crazy the crazy shortcuts you can do to jump over the the huge chasm at the end that's really cool and also jumping over the mushrooms, and the actual strategy is to not jump on all of them, or when I say jump, I mean trick off of them, which you do by shaking the Wii remote or pressing the R button. But it's a, it's a really good time, especially for Mushroom Cup. I'll say it's a, it's definitely an A. It'll always get picked online. Everybody likes this track. Hmm. 
SNES Ghost Valley. Another SNES track, except I think they did a lot better on this one. The music, the music is still pretty spooky. I like that. But it's still, it's still an SNES track. It's still an SNES track, but... Uh, the sh there are a few more shortcuts, and this, the theming is a little more interesting. So, this is, I say a B. Like, unlike SNES Mario Circuit, I'll actually pick this track. Alright, let's move on to Moo Moo Meadows. I know a lot of people like this track. I'm not sure why, I think it's because of the music, but yeah, the music's great, but the track just isn't it. It's a super boring track. I won't say super. It's fine. It's uh, it's another early game track that's meant to get you used to the game. Theming's fine. It's just the farm. Aren't many shortcuts outside of off-road ones. The Mario Kart 8 version is a lot more fun, especially with the glider they added and how much better it looks. But I'll say, let's put that in C. I wouldn't actively pick that. My sister really likes this track, though. Probably because it's easy. Mm. Wario's Gold Mind. Now, interesting track. It's a, it's most certainly a hard track until in Mario Kart 8 where they remade it, but except they made the minecarts into boosts instead of obstacles, and where they made the road a lot wider. The music's good. I like the theming, but it's hard. It's 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 a hard track. And you'll probably get destroyed online, but it's definitely solid in a good time. At this, even with the cons, I say it, A. Uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Parkway, an N64 track. It's pretty simple. It's a very chill track. It is probably one of the weirdest songs in the entire series. It's just the 46 second loop of. Uh, jungle ambience with a few with a very subtle soundtrack it's quite a calm atmosphere I do actively pick this stage because it's very fun especially online it's just a bit simple but simple doesn't mean it can't be fun I say this is definitely I'll say B probably same probably have the same feelings towards Ghost Valley, SNES Ghost Valley. Now, where is that? Ah, DS Desert Hills. This is just such an eh level. Obviously, I grew up with a DS, uh, Mario Kart DS, for my first game. It's the first game I ever owned. Um, the track, it's an early game track, so obviously it's not too interesting, but it's literally just said, uh, Nintendo just said, oh, we'll just make a, a generic desert level. That's what it is. It's cool how the angry sun from Super Mario Bros. 3 shows up. But other than that, it's not that interesting. I'll say it's a... I'm definitely a C. Except I will pick it. Alright, uh, sorry I had new, uh, I had another cut, but... Here you go. The, the, the better desert track is Dry Dry Ruins. Um, music is great. They do the desert a lot better because there's a, uh, there's actually a lot of obstacles, even more pokies than DS Desert Hills has, and the fact that you actually get to go into the pyramid is super cool in that it actually changes each lap. There's more sand that fills up the pyramid, limiting your uh, routes. That's really cool, and the crazy amount of s ultra shortcuts you can do on this track, especially at the end for a big upset is really really fun also I love the the Yoshi Sphinx that's pretty cool say A I do really love this track ooh Grumble Volcano alright Grumble Volcano is also known for having a bunch of crazy unintended shortcuts just like Mushroom Gorge um, Grumble Volcano also changes every lap the, the the lap slowly mm, the the course slowly crumbles and breaks apart as the volcano shakes and erupts. So every lap more of it more of the track is gone, making it harder. And I really like that. And I actively pick this track a lot because I enjoy the music and the really tense gameplay, especially near the end part where fireballs from the volcano start shooting down from the sky. 
It's really cool. I honestly think this is an S rank track. And. Ooh, Moonview Highway. Another controversial one. It's basically like Toad's Turnpike or Shroom Ridge at night and on steroids. Um, the first part's pretty crazy. It's super crowded with all the with all the cars you have to dodge. I love the music. It is super good. And also it has it's it's another stage that has the special gimmick of changing music depending on what section you're in. Like when you're in the city section, it changes. And though this though this track does get a bit easy near the end, it still doesn't stop it from being um from being amazing. I always pick this track super chaotic bunch of bunch of bunch of cool shortcuts especially at the beginning and the in the setting and theming is probably some of the best you'll f find in Mario Kart that's a media s next we have Toad's Factory which is another great entry from the Mushroom Cup so many cool gimmicks um and it's just all around a really cool track you've got the you got the risk reward system where you can you can um, take the fast conveyor belts to a um, risk getting crushed, which when you get crushed, you, your character turns flat and your car goes super slow for a few seconds. And the box section where you have to ride along the conveyor belts outside and avoid all the crates getting loaded um, into the cargo bins because this is Toad's factory. I have no idea what he's producing, but is a really epic factory. Also like how this m the music in the track doesn't loop until you exit the factory. It sounds kind of weird in game, but it, it it works. Especially this end section here, you'll see an icon where the um where all the um, construction vehicles are. You have to move back and forth through the mud in order to catch on to the speed boost and it's it, it's there's just so much happening. It's really good. I say immediate S for this. I always pick this track. Because there, I always have fun on it, and it, it just never gets old. They just did so well with the Mushroom Cup in this game, actually. Alright, next we have GBA Shy Guy Beach. Um, pretty solid for a, for a GBA track. Um, it's super fun. It's pretty short, though. The music's good, even though it's just kind of... Uh, a slightly edited version of the GBA, the GBA soundtrack. The shy guys that shoot cannonballs on the track are absolutely devastating, and it's hilarious when you get hit by one. Also, the boost ramps are kind of odd. When you trick off of them, you immediately gain a bunch of momentum, even if you do a trick on them right after you get hit. Not anything too special, but it's fun. So I'll say B. I'll pick it sometimes, but mostly I'll try to go for something different. Um, Coconut Mall. Alright, probably one of the, the most iconic Mario Kart track. And I think it's super overrated. It's not that good. Well, I shouldn't be saying that. It's good. It's definitely a good track. Crazy theme. It's chaotic, no matter what. With the elevators and the cars that you have to dodge in the parking lot. It's, it's, it's really well put together. It's a really well put together track, and it's super creative. It just... I just don't think it's that fun, though. Uh, I do like in Mario Kart 7 how they added a glider ramp at the end, though. That was super cool. Uh, say A. I do actively pick it because I do find it fun. It just isn't as fun as people make it seem and is as, like, cool and crazy as everybody makes it seem, though. Next we have N64 Sherbert Land. There are actually two Mario Kart tracks called Sherbert Land, but this is the N64 one. There's one GameCube, too. And that one's much better than this. It's a pretty boring track. There's nothing interesting here, except for maybe the cool ice cave, no pun intended, that you can drift through, and then all the penguins you have to dodge. The music's nice, but it's just so open, and there's not anything really happening. I don't really see why you would want to play this. Uh, no thanks, honestly. Um, N64 Mario Raceway. Another infamous track. Since it's from the N64, it's clearly not suited for the newly added 12 racer 
the 12 racer limit in Mario Kart Wii, and this track is almost impossible to hold first on online <laughs> because of how crazy it is and how many shortcuts you can do with mushrooms through the grass. And it's all around, it's really, it's really fun, even with how simple it is for, and you know, it being the circuit track, the music also is so good. N64, the N64 circuit theme is super good. I also say A, especially due to the online experiences and how crazy it always ends up being. Next we've got... Um, GameCube Mario Circuit. Didn't I tell you there are a lot of circuits in this game? Um, it's weird that this one's in the Special Cup. I think it's Special Cup. Or is it Star Cup? It's either one of those. I think it's Special Cup. But... It's pretty simple, but again, the circuit theme for GameCube is really, really good. This one's always, uh, this one's always chaotic online, especially near the end where the super sharp turn is and all the hills that you can jump over. That part's fun. And it definitely is a harder track, but the beginning just really isn't interesting, and it probably isn't interesting unless you're playing with real people. I'll say B because I do pick it. Uh, often, I find it fun and the theme great. It's just, even if I even if I like it that much, it still it objectively isn't too good of a track. Mmm, GBA Bowser Castle three. They chose they chose probably the best Bowser Castle from Super Circuit, uh, specifically because of the aesthetic. The music's good. Uh, the Thwomp obstacles are cool. All of the you can do more crazy shortcuts on this one with the little. Jump panels, um, isn't too interesting, but can be crazy online with the the insane amount of people <laughs> pulling off those shortcuts in the middle of the race. And if you're not skilled enough to do those, you'll just be left behind. I'll say B, because I do like I do really like this track actually. The thwomps are also cool and actually provide a decent obstacle. Um, so what do we have here? GameCube Waluigi Stadium. Oh, this is a good one. Especially, this is one of the best improved tracks in Mario Kart Wii since they remade it from the um the GameCube, and now that Mario Kart Wii includes the trick system, all of the ramps and bumps in this track that were originally in the GameCube actually have meaning now because you can get tricks and go on high speeds on all of them, and especially the surrec the section with the piranha plant cutouts that you have to avoid. Um, it's really cool how they replace that with half pipes, and the music is great, once again. Uh, I listen to it, <laughs> I listen to it often, and I do really, really pick this track. Like, like, um, I say you have probably, uh, probably uh, almost guaranteed uh, almost guaranteed um, chance that I will that I will pick this track if I'm playing with you, because I just love how fun it is to do the tricks, especially with Mario Kart Wii's new motion controls. Um, GameCube Peach Beach, it's fine. It's really simple. I do enjoy the Cataclysm and all the references to Super Mario Sunshine. The music's pleasant. Even it's even if it's shared with. Uh, GameCube Daisy Cruiser. Uh, it's it's very simple. It's like a huge oval. I do like the cool shortcut that I actually didn't know about for a long time, where you can go off the cargo ship. And I do like how the tide rises in and out. But other than that, it's a it's a super short, hmm, decently short track, and it's isn't isn't too interesting. Uh, won't really actively pick it. DS Peach Gardens. More hype for Booster Course Pass Wave 3. Um, this is a really good track. Love the theming of it being in the gardens in the back of Peach's Castle. I love all the chain chomp obstacles uh, that are that are um, defending the garden. And I absolutely love all of the cuts that you can do. There's so many shortcuts that you can do in this track. And it's it's decently long track too. It's lengthy and it's actually... Pretty difficult, especially on high speeds like 150cc, and it'll probably be crazy hard on 200cc when it comes out in a week on Mario Kart 8. 
I honestly say S, because I do play this track very often. I love the music. It sounds, it sounds great. Like none of the songs are are bad. It's Nintendo. It's a Mario game. Of course, the songs aren't going to be bad, but it just hits different. Especially considering how peaceful it is for a race. Um, ooh, Daisy Circuit. Probably again. How many circuits in this game? Um, st- uh, it's really good for a circuit. I love the sunset background. The music is so unique and is honestly one of the best songs in the series to me. The track layout isn't too interesting. It's just. It's basically a ride through, like, the, on the coast, the pier, and it's, it's honestly just really beautiful. It's super nostalgic, so I might be biased, but S, I always pick this track, though, also mentioned the, the really cool stairs shortcut that isn't that good, but it's an interesting shortcut, and uh, I love the part where you can, where the split paths are before the end of the course, and I love the cool tunnel where you can see all the me characters. Uh, they actually have that in a lot of tracks. I can't, there, I can't say too much interesting about this track, but I love the theming and music, and it's super nostalgic, so I might be biased for S. But, mmm. Um, GameCube, DK Mountain. Okay. Another fan favorite. More crazy cuts can be done on this track, especially online. And this is also the track features in the famous the famous video of being Mario Karted. Uh, if you're a Mario Kart fan, you know which one I'm talking about. And it's actually a difficult track. You blast out the cannon onto the, onto the volcano, then you get a ride down with the boulders falling and all super tight turns near the end and the big wavy bridge. It's definitely a, uh, has a lot of variety to this course. And it's fun, and the music probably has more depth than any other jungle theme Nintendo has ever done has. But, I'll say A. Because, I don't pick it often, but I always am bound to have fun when I play it. N64, Bowser's Castle. Okay, first of all, the music in this one actually uh, sounds very sinister, like Bowser's Castle should be, but... <laughs> It's very good for an N64 track and translates well into Mario Kart Wii. It's very fun, but I really do love how much of an obstacle the thwomps actually are. But I don't I don't really actively pick this track, even though I do very much enjoy how much variety it has for a Bowser's Castle track. And they're just, it just feels so unsettling how huge and open the castle is and how just empty it is. Uh, I really like that feeling too because it's supposed to feel like that. It's supposed to feel dreadful. It's Bowser's Castle. Mmm, wee Bowser's Castle, new one. Oh, let's just say the music in this track is super creative. They did really well with that. And they definitely, um,. Made use of Mario Kart Wii's new gimmicks, especially half pipes, in this track very well. Um, I will say they do underuse the thwomps a lot. I mean, they put a lot, but they're usually only put one by themselves, so they're not too hard to avoid. And I say everything up until until the the la- the final stretch with the final stretch with the Bowser statue and the lava geysers. Um, the first part isn't too interesting, even though it has the funny, the silly, wavy, the wavy room. That's kind of cool. Um, we'll say A. Because I do pick this one often, too. Because I do have a lot of fun, even though you get screwed over 90% of the time on this track. Koopa Cape. Okay. Another really, 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 really popular fan favorite in the whole series. The music is really good. especially love how it transitions when you go to the underwater section and how, and just how much energy it has. Even though um, it starts off pretty simple, 
there's nothing special at the beginning with the first few ramps, even though I do like the little, the cove, the, like, the sea cave at the beginning. That's a really cool feeling when you're in there. I love the half pipes. But the next section, where you're riding down the river and have to try to stick, keep yourself in the water this, to accelerate, but at the same time, it's not just that. To the left and right are multiple paths with um, off-road shortcuts and more items to collect. So there's a lot of ways to go in this track, and of course the, of course the end where you, where you fall into the giant water slide with the electric with the electric traps makes it a very difficult but super fun track and honestly play this one excessively too with my friends it's just so fun like even speaking the end section you can um i love how it's a tube so you fly all around when you're trying to steer and uh trying to avoid the electric traps is actually pretty hard and I like when you jump out at the end and you have to drift around the waterfall or else you'll fall into the water. That is super fun. Alright, the final three tracks. And I saved some of the most popular ones for last on purpose. First, we have Donkey Kong Summit or Donkey Kong Snowboard Cross, depending on where you're from. Ooh, what a good track. More crazy shortcuts, check. Especially for online play. Great music, um, simple yet effective theming, and I actually absolutely love the idea of racing down the ski resort. And then it's so cool how you have to avoid the skiing shy guys and can even use the half pipes to do tricks. It's just there's just always something going on on this track, and it's and it's just so fun. There's just so much to do on this track. Uh, online, um, I do get destroyed on this one though because the people who um, do those shortcuts are way better than me. I'm talking about the chasm jump at the beginning. I also love how you shoot out of a cannon just like um, Donkey Kong Mountain. I say immediate S, play this one all the time. Um, and it's supposed to come to the Mario Kart Booster Course Bass according to leaks, which have been 100 or 95% right so far. So I'm hoping they add it in as well. Next, Maple Treeway. <laughs> More Wave 3 hype. Such a good track. Beautiful theming, calm music. Um, there's all, always something going on in this track too. Uh, you shoot as, out of a cannon as well. Notice how uh, a lot of the best tracks start with you shooting out of the cannon up into the giant... Um, tree love the autumn theme and even for the Wii the lighting looks really good even though they improved the lighting so much on the booster course pass trailer which I'm so excited because it comes out in a week so uh, the thing about this track is it, it has such a calm theme and music which is also an S tier theme absolutely S plus tier theme with a very difficult a very difficult layout. This is an actually difficult track. And I love the section where you have to dodge the wigglers. That's pretty iconic. And the, the turns are so sharp on this track. They require a lot from the player. And I love that they actually made it super difficult. Because Mario Kart Wii uh, is, a, is a weird mix of easy and difficult tracks. But this one is just so good. Um, and I do pick this one often. Finally, Rainbow Road. Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road is probably the best Rainbow Road in the series. Well, competing with Mario Kart 7. Again, Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road going in Mario Kart Booster Course Pass Wave 3. It's, first of all, the remix, the music is a remix of Mario Galaxy music, which is my favorite game of all time. So it's already got me biased with that. It's super nostalgic, especially the music. I love how you can see the earth below you the whole time you're racing. And this is a very long and difficult track and, requ and requires so much attention and skill from the player. It's just such a perfect final track. 
they, Nintendo absolutely perfected it, especially with the aesthetic and the star bits floating around, another reference to Mario Galaxy. Nintendo was not holding back with this one, especially with the difficulty. I'll say, immediate S. I don't pick it often, that's because it's incredibly hard, but I will say that being hard doesn't make it bad. Same with being easy, doesn't make it bad. So this is my Mario Kart Wii tier list. I just thought I'd do something uh, different and fun for once, so here it is. Uh, let me know what you think, and if you would like to see more tier list, well, you don't even have to let me know. I'll, I'm making them anyway, because I enjoy this. Goodbye.